What's good, gang? It's your boy. Once a little bit, it's back another reaction. Now, y'all already read the title. Y'all already know what song this is, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I heard this song too, you know what I'm saying? It was a couple of drill songs I heard, to be honest. But I have I kept it to a minimum because I know it might be some more songs that y'all want me to react to, like drill-wise. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a couple of songs I reacted to, so this is going to be another review. This is just Naughty Bop, you know what I'm saying? But... Now I ain't gonna cap this song, this react, this review is strictly for one of my homeboys. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just put his channel in the, in the description down below. Go ahead and subscribe to him. You know what I'm saying? Get this man to at least get him to at least 50 subscribers. Come on, what are y'all doing? He's he's only at, he's only at 19 right now. Get him to 50. Get him to 50. Can y'all do that for me, please? I like, do that. Do that for me. But yeah, obviously Naughty Bop. You know what I'm saying? This song, um. If you don't know, you probably do know by now, but if you don't know, Naughty Bop is basically about, it's like a diss track. It's a diss track on Naughty, you know what I'm saying? So basically, just to give y'all a little context, if, if you're new, you know what I'm saying? If you never even heard the song before, just to give y'all a little context. So Naughty is basically, um, he was a rapper. He had a brother named Diddy Osana, and his name was Naughty Osana. He wanted to be the rapper. Diddy Osana is a big rapper. Well, he's a big New York drill rapper now. But, you know what I'm saying? Naughty Osama was the one who had the, the rap dreams. And Diddy Osana was just rapping because of him, to be honest. But, you know what I'm saying? So basically, just to get to the point. So basically, you know what I'm saying? Naughty was killed. Like, he was, like, in New York, in a train station, like, they had stabbed him. You know what I'm saying? So basically, Naughty Bop, it's just the, even though it sound, it's going to be disrespectful. Trust me, you already know, it's going to be very disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? It's called Punching My Hips. It's basically a dance on how they killed Naughty. And honestly, that is probably the most disrespectful thing that i probably ever seen, to be honest. Like, like I thought I'd seen it all as so I've seen this video for the first time. And if I would, if y'all would have caught me reacting to this on camera, it's probably a good thing I didn't react to it on camera at, at first because honestly, I didn't even know all this stuff until like you know what I'm saying like after I got done listening to it. That's the thing that's wild. But yeah, I'm not gonna waste y'all time. I'm gonna explain some more more into the video. Y'all y'all probably already get the gist by now. But yeah, what song should I react to next? Also, just a little, just just to put this out there, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? Naughty Osama, rest in peace, man. He, this man, this man, Naughty Osama had a lot of talent, bro. Like for real, for like his words were so fluent. A lot of New York drill rappers, they be so aggressive, but they really can't hear what they saying. But he, he sound like a professional rapper. Like he could have really made it far. I can't even lie. This man really had some talent. But yeah, how y'all feeling? You know what I'm saying? Tell me how y'all feel about the um about the song in the end of the video. Go ahead and give it a like, comment, subscribe if y'all like the video, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And yo, let's get into it. The fact that they got this, I ain't gonna lie, I heard this all over TikTok. I heard this sample all over TikTok. For the longest, and I never knew why that was planted. I never even knew, like, honestly, I'm so late to the to the drill, like the New York drill scene. I've been more so in the Chicago drill scene. That's where I've been listening to. I like Chicago drill, so I never really gave New York drill a chance because it's only a couple rappers I listen to, and I didn't like them. Like I listened to Pop Smoke, and I heard Fabio Form, and I and they they cool rappers, but like. They're not my favorite, you know what I'm saying? Just keeping it real. But yeah. Like every time, I hate to pause it again, but every time they, every, every time there's a diss track and they have like a sample of like a supposed to be nice friendly beat or a nice friendly song, they turn it to a sample for drill, it'd be the most disrespectful song. Y'all finna see why I say that though. Naughty, naughty bopping, punching my hips. Like, come here, gotta do it like this. Don't, 
don't drop my shit. Then he shot a dip and he trip. Be fake, that's till he dead on my slip. Till he dead on my. So bro, let's take a trip. Back door gate trying to slide me a victim. Now, now they bopping, I'm punching my hips. Like, come here, gotta do it like this. Like, bop, bop. He. See, the, to that, I ain't gonna lie. Just looking at the, like, listen. I could listen to the song, but if, every time I look at the music video, it just gives me chills because why they gotta, why they gotta do, like, why they gotta do the dance like this? Like, why? I don't understand. I mean, I get it. This is the life that they all chose, to be honest. It's, it's, the, it's the life they chose, you know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy to me, like, that there's actually... This actually was a thing. And I really thought I sent it all for real, for real. I really thought I sent it all before this song. But after, because, you know, just two years ago, Young and Ace and all of them, like a whole bunch of random people I didn't even know about, until this song, like Fast Money Gone, Wapa with the Chopper, they made a diss track at, um, at Fulio and his dad ops. And I thought I seen it all until I seen that. And that was crazy. And then Fulio... You know what I'm saying? Came back with a diss track, like a comeback diss track. But that diss track was probably more disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I thought I said it all after that. But they never seemed to really amaze me with this rap stuff. Like, every time I listen to some rap, it's always something new going on. Whether if it's good or bad. Negative or positive. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Dead. All of the why we smoking they miss? They got a dish and they miss got chair. Now they got poked in his man's door ran. Yo, yo, y'all don't trust your shoe. You gon' what if you run into me? What did you do when I ran into you? How the saw when I came in that store? I should have spoke put his brains on the floor. Let me come drop with a shot to the melon. He tried to box, he got fucked with like seven. Got some friends from shit I can't mention. And then it don't make it no better that it's so catchy too. Like, the song should not be that catchy. It's kind of a shame, like. Like, no, it's not a shame. It's, it's not a shame. It's not a shame. Because you can't, like, if you're in a, if you're in a gang, like, if you're in a rival, you got to make the most dis disrespectful stuff. And if it's trash, they're not going to take you serious. But if it's, like, this good, they got no other choice but to take you serious. See what I'm saying? So it makes perfect sense on why it's this good, to be honest. Like, like, like Monday trying to find me a locker. Like what? Like then, he a capo. He ain't bullshit. He ain't a factor. Both getting money, but I get it faster. Yeah. If it's beef, we ain't playing. But I like that bar he said. I said, bro, get the money, but I'm getting it faster. Ooh. See, I like I like bars like that because, you know, we all about that money, chasing that money. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Like, it don't matter what we doing. Like, we grinding. We, we on the hustle. We getting that money. That's all. That's what we all about over here, for real, for real. That's what I no like. Defense. Niggas told Mr. Stone trying to dick ride. We agents don't know what to pick. Like it makes sense why I said so on Swiss side. Niggas be men with a bitch mind. Old rats from Star Fox 6 9. 47 was gonna get stitches. When they was dissing the next in the ditches. If, if, if you ready to die, got the job, you gon' spread like a fish. Like I can't mix the block with the side. 14 was a fucking I lit it. And bro said he said, but he did it. Like if you think I did it, I did it. Bro's bro's outside, I get lit any minute. Your nigga think that the winner. See, it, it's just crazy. Like, the song, is, it's actually good. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's so good. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, it don't even make no sense of why it's this good, to be honest. Like, if they could put this much energy to make a, a regular song, as, like, it's like they really put all, like, they all into a diss track. But the moment it's like doing a regular song, a lot of times they just don't even, it don't hit the same. I don't know why. It just don't hit the same. Like, it's like whenever they... I get it. I get it, though. It's the whole minute behind it. Like, when you dissing somebody, you got a whole bunch of feeling in the tool. You got everything that you want. Like, you got everything you want to say in that song. But, like, if it's a regular song, you kind of run out of stuff to say. So, I get it. I get why. It's probably better than the average song. I get that. They go top top. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Tell me, tell me in the comments below. Like, am I tripping? But does this dude look like a young King Von without dreads? Or does he look like a light-skinned Kwando Rondo? He looks like one of them two. I guarantee you. I, I, I had the discussion with one of my coworkers. I had the discussion. I don't know which one he looks like. He looks like both of them, to be honest. Think that the winner. I personally think he looks like the King, like the young King Von. 
Young King Von without jersey. That's what I think. He took the train and got put in the split. Like how you go out on the metro? He got put one time, stop breathing. This man slapped him, he was on the floor bleeding. I cannot die on the train like Ethan. Now that he popped and I'm poking my. See that that bar was that bar was crazy. He had to say all that. Like he he said that how I might gonna respite that bar. I might finna recite it. You got it. You got it. Bro, I can't even lie. Even though that was probably the most disrespectful way to do the dance because this dude was doing it himself and he had two people helping him like do it. I can't even count. Hear me out. That dance low key look better. I don't know. Like I hate the fact that the dance is so like, like it makes me want to low key do it. And I don't. I'm not into it. Like I said, it makes me want to do it. Like you already. They they knew what they was doing on this one. They knew what they was doing. They already knew. They already knew that that they was finna go probably go viral with this because those are already kind of like growing at a fast pace. When they dropped this, they knew exactly what they were doing. I knew. And then he brought up, and then he brought a whole knife. Look, I love your rap style. I like your raps. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just whenever you do stuff like this, it's like, ugh. It's like, you're actually a demon for real, for real. Like, like, you can't defend people who who's doing it. I can't even lie. You can't really defend it. I, I actually respect Tata. He's my favorite of the three, to be honest. But I feel like low-key, his was the most toxic. Like, this dude is actually probably the most toxic of all three of them. That's crazy to me. He said, he, he said, I be smoke, I just be smoking on, that's, that's dead. Oh my gosh. Dang, bro. I can't even lie. That bar kind of did go hard. I'm going to be real. That bar did kind of go hard. He goes, I'm trying to get right. Like, if he just, he gets sent to the light and I'm smoking that boy who went up by the night, bitch. Oh, dang. See, he didn't have to, okay. I understand it. I get it. But the last bar was just crazy. Like, this, this I'm not even going to recite that bar. I'm not even going to recite it. But that last bar was crazy. I'm gonna replay it for y'all. Like if he just he gets sent to the light and I'm smoking that boy who went up by the night, bitch. Now he, now he bopping, punching my head. Like, come here, gotta do it like this. Don't and then the hook is catchy as, as a mug. It got me wanted to sing the hook. And that's not good. That's not good when you have people, when you make a hook that catchy, you have people wanting to sing it. That's actually not good. It's, I mean, it's good for him, but it's not good for us. We trying to, you know what I'm saying? We're not trying to, you know. We're not trying to, we're not trying to be involved in that. I know, obviously, I probably got nothing to worry about. But you never know these days because people, like, you got to realize. Okay, so obviously, yeah, he's in New York and I'm way in Mississippi. We're in the opposite. Like, basically, I'm in, I'm in the south, he's in the north. But you got to remember. We in America, you know what I'm saying? We, we're in America. I'm not saying other places don't be doing crazy stuff, but in America, I feel like this is probably the wildest, like the wildest country, to be honest. We're probably one of the wildest, wildest countries. Like, we probably the only people that actually kill our own brothers and sisters. And I mean blood brothers and sisters, not talking about like, like homeboys and friends. I'm talking about our actual blood brothers and sisters. We the only um, we the only people that probably kill our parents. I'm not, I'm gonna keep it real. You know what I'm saying? So if we kill my own parents, we know doggone well people will kill somebody random just because they didn't like what they said on the internet. So you know I don't want to get caught slipping. You know what I'm saying? So I can't take no risk. Can't even do it. Don't drop my shit, then he shot a dip and he tripped. Beef ain't dead till he dead on my split. Till he dead on my. So 
Super Bowl. Let's take a trip. Back door game, trying to start me a victim. Now they bopping, I'm punching my hips. Like, come here, gotta do it like this. Like, bop, bop, he dead. Roll it again. Fuck all while we smoking, they miss. Like, got they dissing, they miss, got 10. How you dissing, I don't understand. Like, she a pop and she doing a pop. How you dissing, you niggas is pop. He got both in his hips, so I'm punching that spot. 41k, then he died by the bro. Bro, I can't even lie. She got the best verse on this one. I ain't gonna, I'm not even, you obviously know I like Tata the most. So I'm not even lying. Jen Carter has the best verse on this, hand down, hands down. I got the, she, she obviously got the best, like the best verse. He dead, all of that I'm gonna just play it back for y'all. Like how they dissing, they men's got 10. How you dissing, I don't understand. Like she a pop and she doing a pop. How you dissing, you niggas is. Dang, bro, dang. She says, she doing the, no, no, no. She says she a bop and she doing the bop. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> like. Dang, bro. I'm gonna have to listen to it again, bro. It's like this man. I don't know what it is. She got. Like, she got something over us. Like, she got something over us over here. Like, she got it. Don't get a miss. They got a diss and they miss got 10. How you dissing? I don't understand. Like, she a pop and she doing a pop. How you dissing? You niggas is pop. He got both in his hip, so I'm punching that spot. 41k, then he died by the pope. Can't remember the shots that I throw. I'm smoking on Naughty. I'm hot. I'm sorry, but like. Oh, the way she's saying it though, it's so catchy. I can't even lie. Like, I kind of want to sing it. She said, "How you, how you diss her, but you die by the Pope." Oh my! And then she said, "We smoking on dead ops." So we, she said that we smoking on dead ops got me high like a ghost. Oh my! Be real. Let's be real for a second. Is those bars not hard? Even though it's obviously a diss track, obviously. Let's be real. Are those are those bars are those bars that hard? I think I think she has the best verse. Clearly. Back door game trying to start me a victim. Now, now they bopping, I'm punching my hips. Like come here, gotta do it like this. Like bop, bop, he dead. That dance is wild. I can't even lie. Like, they miss. Like how they dissing, they miss got ten. How you dissing? I don't understand. Like she a pop and she doing a pop. How you dissing? You niggas is pop. He got both in his hips, so I'm punching that spot. Forty one k, then he died by the pole. She says she's smoking on Naughty, I'm high as a ghost. Oh my gosh, bro. That's wild, bro. That's wild. Bro. R.P. Naughty, bro. Once again, bro. R.P. Naughty. Got both in his hip, so I'm punching that spot. 41K, then he died by the pole. Can't, can't remember the shots that I throw. When I'm smoking on Naughty, I'm high as a ghost. Too, too fast, might crash that way. Might throw 10 shots in there. So listen, I heard I seen some people on the internet say that her verse or Tata and Jen Carter verses kind of sounded a little sloppy. I don't know what y'all hearing. Obviously, we're not hearing the same song here. Like I feel like she's the highlight of the song. To be honest, without her on this song, this song would probably be dead. I'm not saying Kyrie didn't do his thing on it, and I'm not saying Tata didn't do his thing. But like Jen Carter is literally the highlight of the song. Like, she literally top. They literally saved the best for last. They literally saved the best for last. I can't even lie. That's kind of wild to me. I can't, I can't even less wild to me. I'm sorry. I got to replay it one more time. I got to. How you dissing you niggas? Is he got poked in his hip, so I'm punching that spot. 41K, then he died by the pole. Can't, can't remember the shots that I throw. When I'm smoking on Naughty, I'm high as a ghost. Too, too fast, might crash that way. Might throw 10 shots in there. Man, that was just, this song is just too good for its own good. It kind of hurts that the song is that good, to be honest, because you know what the meaning behind the song is obviously, obviously what it means, you know what I'm saying? It kind of hurts knowing that the song is actually that good and that catchy, but the song really means like a lot. Like it really means a lot. Like a lot of negativity was in that song. And it was like most diss tracks, they just go at a lot of people at once. But this diss track, they really stuck to the point. 
that's kind of crazy. That's rare in nowadays diss tracks. A lot of diss tracks, like dissing the whole game, they literally stayed on topic. They call it the naughty bop. They literally diss naughty in every single bar of the song. You got to give them credit for that, okay? I, you can't be mad at I mean, as a listener, you can't be mad at it. You, gotta, you can't, can't do nothing but respect it, to be honest. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't res I Once again, it's the life they chose. But, you know what I'm saying? They stuck to the point, and it was hard. I can't even lie. Just putting the whole disrespect and all that aside, the song was probably one of the hardest songs out. One of the most disrespectful, hard songs out, to be honest. Man, what do y'all think about the song? This song, this video was so long. I couldn't, like this song, I don't know what it is. It's like this song actually had me bamboozled for like 20 minutes. This is the longest reaction I have for one song. That's how you know the song is actually good. You know what I'm saying? I've never been bamboozled this bad before. Man, what do y'all think about the song though? You know what I'm saying? Once again, R.P. Naughty. R.P. Naughty. But you know what I'm saying? What song should I react to next? I'm going to make sure I get to it ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's going to be in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. And hey, yo. Go ahead and type in the chat. RP Naughty, man. He, was, he had the potential to be a, a New York drill legend. Not even just a drill legend. A New York legend. He really had the potential. I'm going to have to react to one of his songs on the channel, too. But, yo, I'm gone.